Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through some of the sounds and features within the new Lumina Bells version 2.0 upgrade. With Lumina Bells, we've recorded a number of different sizes and shapes of bulbs using a variety of different playing techniques to explore each one's sonic potential. We tapped with fingers, palms, sticks, mallets, and other bulbs, really focusing on their own unique timbre and tone. This library is made for the full version of Contact version 5.5.2 or later. Comes with one main NKI and a folder for 20 custom effects presets. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the different sounds, some of the brand new ambiences, drones, and pads that come with the library, as well as the custom effects presets. So let's dive in and check out some of the sounds. So I have the main NKI loaded up. As you can see, you have four different layers to choose from. You have layers one and two a layer for ambiences and the sub-synth layer. So let's go ahead and check out the sounds within the Lumina Ensemble. So with the Lumina Ensemble, it's great because you have all the different sounds laid out, but you can, if you want, go into this little category drop down, and then you can grab each individual sound that's laid out across the keyboard, but then have it mapped across the entire keyboard. So if let's say you really like the sound of one particular hit or, uh, or articulation, you can then have it across the keyboard and play in a little bit more of a musical way. And then with layer two, you can actually layer some different sounds together. So let's say we go into layer two, enable this little speaker icon. So now that these are both going. So right now I have the Lumina Ensemble on layer one, but some things you can do is if let's say you have these set up like that, maybe you want to um, play around with the panning or you can play around with the, uh, with the octave. So if let's say you want to pitch this one down a whole octave, We'll say we'll keep the panning normal for that. Or if let's say you want to have a completely different sound for each side and then play around with the panning for each so you can pan layer one to the left, pan layer two to the right. And then if let's say you want to take it even further, you can open up this little gear icon, it takes you to the advanced tab. Uh, you can play around with some different arpeggiator sounds. Let's go to layer two and do the same thing. Okay, let's check out a different preset. So you can see you're starting to get this sort of, uh, kind of like a binaural effect where you got two different beats going on at the same time. And then let's say we want to add in an ambience, we can do that too. That sounds cool. So now let's say you want to fade in that ambience. What you can do is you can go to that ambience layer, set it down here. If you go to the X fade assign, set that to layer B. So right here where it says X fade layer B is going to be all the way to the right. And what we're going to do is map this to our mod wheel, which we already did. And then we can just go ahead and fade it in. And I like doing things like this because it makes the automation process a little bit easier when it comes down to composing, especially if you're trying to work quickly. I usually like to do it like this because it just makes things a lot quicker and I can just draw them in if I need to or just play them in like I showed you guys. 
So for version 2.0, we created a bunch of brand new drones, pads, and atmospheric soundscapes for you to use in your compositions, created straight from the raw recordings. And these are all going to be found within the ambience layer, so now let's go ahead and play through some of those. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive in and check out some of the different custom effects presets that come with Luminabelle's version 2.0.
All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough for the Lumina Bells version 2.0 upgrade. If you want to learn any more about the library or upgrade if you're a current owner, make sure to go to soundiron.com as well as go to the product page, check out some demos and learn a little bit more about the library. I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.